Hello, in this video I show how students can create their own groups in Blackboard. This is useful because it can help you to collaborate or socialise with other students using some of the great Blackboard tools like Collaborate and Discussion Boards. You can combine these tools with other university services, for example use Collaborate to watch a film on Bob National together. Edit a Word document together using Office 365 and discuss it during a collab session. Or use the discussion board for asynchronous collaboration where you don't all have to be online and available at the same time. I will show the process of creating a group, joining a group and using a student made group. We'll start by looking at how you can create your own group. To begin, go into the Groups menu in your course, if there is one. If you do not have a Groups menu, use the Tools menu if available and choose Groups. If you don't see the Groups menu, the course instructor has hidden it. Assuming you can access the Groups tool, Choose Create Group. If you do not see Create Group, the instructor has prevented students from creating groups on that course. We will assume this is not the case for the rest of this demo. Enter a name for your group and a description so others will know the purpose of your group. The name of sign-up sheet and instructions can contain any other information you want to share about the group. You may choose how many students can join your group or you can leave this number empty so there is no limit. Remember, this only applies to the current course. Students who are not on this course cannot access it and so cannot join this group. To finish, select the submit button. Let's take a look at how to join a student made group. Go into the Groups menu in your course if there is one. If you do not have a Groups menu, use the Tools menu if available and choose Groups. If you don't see the Groups menu, the course instructor has hidden it. Groups you can sign up to are shown here. To continue, select Sign Up. You can read more about the group, select sign up to continue. You have now joined the group. Next we will review how to use a student made group. You can see the other members of the group and move the modules around. Groups have their own collaborate area. You can use collaborate to meet up have live discussions, view presentations and videos together, and so on. Having joined a group, you can quickly access it below the course menu. Use the discussion board for asynchronous communication. In this example, they are agreeing a good time to meet up for a Blackboard Collaborate session. Whilst you can use many other websites, using Blackboard means you are in a safe and secure environment. Other tools are available to groups. For example, you may find it useful to create a wiki to work collaboratively on a project. Let me know if you make use of this feature and whether it was useful to you in the comments. By the way, instructors who wish to prevent students from creating their own groups can follow this guide.